Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. Well, I hope you all had a great trading week last week, but it was a hard traded week. I know that and that's why I called my previous video, are you ready for the super week? Because it was a full event of uh, major impact news on many, many currencies. We had the Brexit and guys, if you had issues trading last week, don't worry a lot. I was one of those who had lots and lots of issue until Thursday uh, when things start going uh, in my direction again. Especially that, as you know, I'm a dollar bull and uh, the dollar was not doing so good. So um, yeah, let's uh, take a look and see what we have on um, uh, the charts for the upcoming week. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. So welcome back guys, we will start with the EURUSD top-down analysis from the weekly and down. Uh, this one uh, was a pretty interesting market. As you see, we tested all the way to almost the top of the channels where we have, where we have all the body of the previous uh, weekly candles here to then go uh, back down all the way. So what happened, we will talk about um, uh, right now. Just give me a minute to show you the daily chart where we uh, broke above this trend line and I did send a tweets and over my Facebook uh, channel as well, uh, Facebook page, I would say, uh, talking about a very, very crowded trade here. And I said, guys, they won't make it easy uh, for you. So uh, be aware of that. And we really saw that very, very big spike to the upside, broke the channel, uh, the trend line. And what, what I really was looking at is I wanted to see if the Euro USD gonna close above this previous high on the daily. That would signal to me that we should be now start being uh, maybe a little bit bullish and expect a, a higher continuation to the upside. Now that did not happen on Wednesday. So if we go down to the four hour time frame, what we have here, here, this drop here was the Dovish, uh, Draghi and ECB. So we got a very strong drop that did break below everything. And it was like the last line of defense to then see the market start correcting to the upside already here people uh, start getting short and i start saying guys take it easy wait a little bit more we waited to until the trend line this area i went short as well but i was also expecting a shake out um, so i hedged my position we got shake out here uh, it was a, a very strong move to the upside took out many people stops here stops above this previous high to then start correcting to the downside and uh, on friday we got those very bad uh, uh, pmi numbers from both uh, french manufacturing and german manufacturing that was low uh, the lowest so far and if we take a look at those numbers we i'm talking about the service pmi in um, uh, for France and the German flash manufacturing PMI 44.7 and um, this is the lowest by far now and uh, entering a, a very important contraction area now so everyone start being uh, bearish on the euro and stocks and everything like that so we've got this very strong uh, drop to the downside uh, it was a great trade shorting the rallies on the euro and here we are today. So the 1.13 is still a key level. If we look at the daily, we went back to that one uh, 1.13 area. Again, it is a key level that been acting as support. And on the four hour, we have this first drop correction, another drop on the news event. So what I'm watching for now is this area. If we take a Fibonacci uh, retracement for the whole leg here, we see that we have the 38.2 at this level 
and if we take another Fibonacci retracement just for the last leg we had after that correction to see if we have a nice cluster of Fibonacci's we see that we have the 618 also of this leg happened to be at this area so this area is my kill zone for next week to sell the rallies especially that we have 38.2 618 we have the trend line we have this uh, previous structure um, uh, break here as you see so um, this is a nice area here this uh, candle here is when we've got the dovish uh, Powell so uh, when the Fed uh, FOMC we've got a uh, dovish statement and uh, everyone went long euro while I was saying short rallies guys so here we go again I'm really really interesting to see this uh, kill zone uh, get reach it to see if we're gonna get any bearish evidence to take another short uh, back down the first trouble gonna of course be once again 1.13 and um, if we have a strong daily close below that I will keep shorting rallies on the euro toward uh, previous lows uh, once again now if uh, the euro for some reason start uh, getting strong again which I don't think it should be then I want to see a break above this high to um, to change my mind okay so this is my idea for the euro USD sterling USD is the one that been uh, going against the dollar on uh, Friday on uh, and also late Thursday when we reach at this key support level 1.300 is a major area that we do know uh, it's been acting as support and resistance previously we are talking about uh, this level here that is really a key level and uh, where we also have the 200 moving average on the daily just below that and for the sterling actually nothing of economic release matter right now all it's all about brexit and how that is developing and it seems like more and more we're gonna have some kind of extension and as far as we do not have any thought about about a crash out of uh, brexit or a no deal brexit still uh, everything should be from now on positive for the sterling so i'm actually looking for a uh, strength in the sterling in the longer term I think short term for next week market uh, objective is to uh, test this uh, previous highs here uh, I am very skeptic to uh, if the whole break that things will actually happen so um, we reach it yearly pivot point at uh, this level here so previous structure we had some uh, resistance here previously as you see so it is a, a clearly important level um, what I'm looking for is uh, a possible uh, correction back down maybe toward the monthly pivot point this area here could be a possible level to look for another bounce uh, to the upside from this area at that time maybe we're gonna have the 200 moving average on the four hour at that level as well um, so on the one hour time frame you see it more clearly why I am looking at this level could be a possible area uh, and uh, we could also try to see if we have any Fibonacci um, level at that level we have the 38.2 in this area as well and um, if we need to see if we have a cluster which means we take another one from this uh, to this here we see we have the 618 also in this area so kill zone for me uh, on uh, GU um, sterling USD is uh, this area looking for a correction back down here for another continuation to the upside so um, keep an eye on that level USD Jaffe dropped strongly especially after that um, we had uh, dovish uh, FOMC on Wednesday so we dropped strongly broke the neckline here um, we were trading at the 200 moving average on the daily and uh, then we got uh, a little bit of a correction to the upside and uh, when um, <coughs> this correction happened back to the 200 moving average back to this broken structure and then after that we got those uh, bad PMI numbers from uh, Europe and uh, 
all equities start selling, of course, the market choose uh, to go to uh, JAPI as a safe haven. And that's why we got this uh, very strong drop to the downside. So um, we broke this uh, key trend line. Uh, you see it on the daily here. One, two, three, four touches. Uh, you see it on the four hour as well. It is pretty important one. Um, I was expecting the 110 to act as a little bit of support, maybe for a correction high uh, before more continuation. Uh, it didn't hold, so we broke below that on the daily. The close at uh, 109.90 now. And uh, yeah, my anticipation for next week, look for a retest, uh, maybe toward this broken structure, even better if we reach the monthly pivot point and the trend line before the next leg to the downside. So uh, selling rallies, if we reach, especially if we reach higher, uh, keep an eye on this uh, level here where we have monthly S1 and this uh, little structure here on the four hour could act as at least short term uh, uh, support. You need to also keep an eye on those equities and see how the stock market is doing. If things start really rolling uh, off uh, on the equities, uh, then uh, JAPI will keep being strong. USD Chief, uh, also strong. Um, the strongest currency last week and the week before actually. Uh, and I told you guys in my uh, weekly overview last week, a break below this that mean a uh, continuation to the downside and that exactly what happened we broke below a uh, monthly pivot point in this uh, structure here and we've got a little bit of correction and the last drop to the downside now despite a strong dollar uh, thursday friday uh, this uh, mar this uh, pair uh, kept being in uh, some kind of correction only so um, that uh, dollar strength what mostly based on uh, very weak euro so um, this did not uh, give back a lot of this move to the downside so what happened was a correction of this whole leg to 618 previous structures and then a continuation i still think the market objective is here too if you're holding any short here expect the market to move back down toward these lows and monthly s1 a break below this that should mean a continuation to the downside on this market so expect a little bit bounce here um, and uh, try to keep selling rallies uh, on uh, this market as well and um, USD CAD we uh, still uh, bullish I uh, said last week in the weekly overview that look for a retest here and continuation we've got the retest a deep one shaked out many traders here to then uh, go all the way back up close above monthly r1 uh, thursday uh, sorry wednesday we did not have a lower low despite there was uh, bad fomc numbers that was another clue that we didn't really uh, make a uh, lower low here on the daily despite bad um, fomc and uh, we pushed back up and thursday friday was uh, the continuation market objective here is to reach uh, monthly or two of course a break above that will open the door for more upside but keep an eye on this as a first possible area for the market to reach as um, at the level of uh, interest so if you're long keep holding your longs should take some profit or maybe all the profit at monthly or two any correction back down toward the neckline uh, toward this area 1.3360s down here at this level could be a possible uh, level to buy at uh, i would like to see this market correcting first to the downside early next week to give us a chance to go long to reach uh, monthly r2 if uh, r2 is broken and this uh, previous highs taken out then we look for another leg to the upside toward these levels up here on this market so um, yeah aussie usd here we have the daily time frame we tested this uh, key level so on the daily as you see we still have lower lows and lower highs we're still trading below the 200 moving average we tested monthly pivot point and we tested uh, this previous uh, level coming from these levels down here as you see and uh, got rejected we got a shooting star formation at this area here and uh, Friday we had a close below uh, the previous um, uh, day so um, 
still uh, looks like on the four hour as a strong push to the upside but the thing is that we did a correction a very deep correction showing that the uh, bulls are not really in control and uh, we maybe keep pushing lower now this trend line is not the best one ever we have one touch two touch then um, a fake out below it but then we tested here we tested here i will use this trend line anyway uh, but uh, the thing is we cannot say that we are in a down continuation before we see this broken so i see a possible market objective maybe is to reach this low test this area and we're gonna see if we're gonna have a bounce from there before another leg down so this is um, what i uh, have on this one not a clear yet direction despite this whole correction down we should not forget that we did break strongly above these levels and we still have significant higher lows happening so uh, this could be uh, another higher low and this market could uh, still continue uh, to the upside in any case this area up here is uh, our key level on uh, this market so uh, yeah uh, that was it about Aussie USD New Zealand USD told you guys I did uh, send a tweet uh, and on my Facebook page about to keep an eye on this level as a key resistance level uh, I hope you managed to uh, claim some pips from this because it was a clear level here if broken that will open the door for much much more upside it is still a key level that you need to watch but we got a nice bounce nice trade from that area um, <clears throat> almost tested this level to the pip before start going to the downside so uh, here we are now once again let me take these off um, so we were talking in my room that break retest continuation we've got retest we got the continuation but it wasn't a clear continuation because I want still to see a break below uh, this area yearly pivot point 200 moving average on the one hour uh, if that happens, uh, I still think mo possible market objective is to continue toward this level once again. If you're holding a short, uh, look to take some profit. And if broken, then we keep pushing down toward a uh, monthly uh, pivot point on this one. So yeah, guys, that was it for today. Of course, I will be doing... Uh, all these and some more to uh, our um, uh, subscribers in my trading group if you are interesting to uh, get uh, these videos each and every morning followed by daily update chart update each and every day during both london and new york session with explanation of what's going on fundamental news and many many uh, things that may help you toward uh, a good uh, trading day and trading week then you are welcome to uh, visit my uh, website the link uh, is uh, down here in the bottom of the screen the screen and uh, i still have the uh, one month uh, sorry 14 days trial all you need to do is uh, use this uh, coupon code trial uh, before you sign in uh, write in that uh, before you sign uh, up and you will get uh, two weeks uh, uh, for only one dollar and as i said you will have lots and lots of uh, information uh, i can show you a little bit how we do things we do have this update by uh, pierre channel where i do send these um, charts day in and day out every single day you get uh, fundamental news and of course every single morning a morning briefing about the markets and uh, what to expect as we have like uh, this friday this all this happened only on friday just in this channel we still have fundamental news channel where we do send uh, lots of lots of uh, fundamental news both me and other traders in our trading room so you will really get all you need to know about what's going on in the market uh, both uh, daily weekly and uh, in every session so yeah that was it for this week guys thank you very much for watching see you next week bye bye